wisps of mist. Welcome, Peters and Scouts, to a little bit of narrative surrounding the trip that we did, Ryan and myself, through Namibia, which we are calling NAM 2024 Road Trip. Good. Hello, it is 20 to 8. Oh, here's a gas station. It's 20 to 8 on the 9th of March, a Saturday. We are on our. This doesn't sound good. We are on our way to the Skeleton Coast and we're just going to fuel up. I'm pleased to report that in 400 meters, turn right. Sunburn notwithstanding, I had a fantastic sleep. We've just had a good breakfast. And so when you see us again, we'll be at the, I was going to say skeletons. We'll be at the Skeleton Coast. Brian, anything to report? It's been a wonderful it morning. Selfie mode. All right. Yeah, it's been a wonderful morning and uh, it's nice and cool still. I'm sure it's going to warm up a lot later, but uh, yeah, no, all good. Cheers. Okay, so we are well on our way now to Skeleton Coast. This is the tricky part. Dirt road for hundreds of miles. Um, to be honest, I'm a little embarrassed to say this, I'm not 100% sure of what the tire pressure should be. Um, some people do make suggestions, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's appropriate for this vehicle. So I guess we're going to find out one way or the other. The rule of thumb though is when you ride on dirt, you soften the tires basically for your own comfort um, when it's not like a very long way on this particular uh, dirt why don't, why don't you show the road here it's not very very far and of course once we at the coast the the, the, sand, the, the soil there is a lot softer it's, it's, clay, it's a kind of like a clay I've driven part of it it's kind of like a clay um, substrate and yeah it is quite soft so once we're there it should everything should be fine uh, you can see the, some of these tricky dips and sometimes the is the sand at the bottom of those dips is quite soft and if you're not vigilant um, you can get into trouble Sometimes you need to slow down in those dips, sometimes you actually need to speed up to get through them. Um, yeah, so this is what we've seen. Um, see you guys in a little bit. Oh well, yeah, you can use it. Yeah. Shame this goat's going to get cut off. <laughs> Grass is always green on the other side. Yeah. For them, it might literally be true. So we are about maybe half an hour from the entrance to Skeleton Coast. I must say if I want to break my, twist my ankle, I should self-record while I'm walking over this. So I'm not going to do that. See you guys in Skeleton Coast. 
we like, we, used to, we built the computers for the computer. So that's how I got started in IT actually. I, I like, I never knew how to build a computer before, but I quickly learned. Quite a long way to the coast, yeah. oh, to the sand, yeah. No, it's not far, it's like three k's to that road, and then you know. Oh, wow. First bit of sand. First bit of real sand, yeah. That's what that sign was. So the, the other side of the story is, uh, you, you kind of have a situation there, I'm talking about in the greater area, like beyond Israel even, mm. where the, the Israelis are in the minority and they're surrounded like on all sides by the Palestinians. Yeah. Trust me, now you're going to come turn this place into the same shit hole that you came from. Turn uh, right up to C34, D2302. Check this sign, it's wow, seen better Can we stop here and just yeah. take a photo? Sorry, Nikana, I'm, no, 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 yeah, it's, it's fine. No, I mean about the whole... So guys, this is the Skeleton Coast, certainly the crossroads to it, and uh, it's definitely... Here's your chance to swim. In 500 meters, sharp left. Here's your chance to swim, right? Yeah. I don't know oh, if you've got your surfboard ready. Surfboard? Yeah, I'll swim in that. That's easy. Okay. Yeah. So you go left here? Yeah. yeah. There's, there's no one here. There's nothing. Everything's closed. Maybe just drive straight down there. Get a view of the beach. You're not going to swim. I don't think so. I mean, now it's 22 degrees. Whoa. Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe you you're going to have to floor it so you have to get momentum. I mean, not like that. Uh, well, I would have gone a bit faster, but no, it's all good. Oh, look at the sea there. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, you wanna... Look. I don't wanna go all the way onto the beach. No, 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 of course. Um, wow. But I... So this is just a brief introduction came, to Namibia. It's one of the most sparsely populated countries in the world. There's a population of less than 3 million people. It is a pretty big country. I think it's the, uh, the 34th biggest country in the world. But it, it, it's a pretty big country with a very small population. It's also a country of superlatives. It's got the world's highest sand dunes. It's got one of the oldest deserts in the world. It's also got a really interesting history, which we're not going to go into right now. So, if you're unsure of the size, it's... Uh, 
318,000 square miles. So as I said, it's the 34th largest country in the world after Venezuela. Uh, you know, there are equally empty countries like uh, Australia's pretty empty country for um, its size. Canada is another one. Botswana, which is right next to Namibia, is also extremely uh, empty. We do sometimes stop, you just saw a putt stall, which is another word for road stall. The, we don't, we don't, our um, subcontinent doesn't come anywhere near the 45th parallel, which gives you an idea of how Dr um, dry and, and hot the dry this sort of climate really actually is. So guys, here we are. Uh. <laughs> Great shadows over the road. Can you see the mist moving over? of stones and sand. This wasn't an easy place to get to. It's quite a climb to the
they've now moved right across the road. <laughs> They would normally swim away, but now they're kind of running away. Wait for it. Sorry, I think I found it. Mm -hmm. It's another five minutes down.
but not this time. Yeah. Look at him. For the minutes to the left and to the right, it's like the emergency exits. <laughs> That went by pretty quickly, eh? Yeah. Two and a half hours. Oh, that's two. We got here at nine. Ten little tall fields. I think the yeah. net the nets get pulled through that yeah. slot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode from Team Peachtree. Keep weaving and I'll see you guys next time.